Don't get blinded by the light from fame. We're all ordinary people at the end of the day. We make decisions, some good, some bad, but we all pushing for things we It's never had. Just uh, us. Uh. Charlene, I just recently finished a major home project. I mean, basically from the floor to the ceiling, pipes, plumbing, electrical, the whole gamut. And no one told me, no contractor, no plumber told me that I may need to now look at the water that's coming through my plumbing. Joining me on today's show is HGTV's Monica Peterson. She's a home expert and she's going to share some information surrounding the facts about hard and soft water, how we can prevent this problem, if we can prevent it, how we can take care of our home, take care of our investment. So I'm glad you're here today. It's just us. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. Okay, Simon, what do people wear? Clothes. That's right, so it's important to learn how to dress yourself. Here's how it's done. Shirt, underwear, pants, socks, shoes. Underwear, always first, name tag on the back. Then pants and shirt, go ahead and put this on. Now with the shirt, you wanna make sure the first button's right or you have to start all over again, okay? Socks left on left, right on right, tying the shoes, we're gonna take the laces, we're gonna cross them over, we're gonna turn around where the bunny goes down in the hole, pull it tight, and bunny ears, got it? Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. And welcome back to the show. Joining me today, as I mentioned earlier, is Miss Monica Peterson. Monica is a home expert and part of HGTV's, many of their series on HGTV. She's going to talk to us today about some facts concerning soft and hard water. Monica, welcome to It's Just Us, but first let me congratulate you on a successful career with HGTV and other shows as well, and also on your book, Make It Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Oh, sure, yes, absolutely. I've been to Atlanta a ton. Um, I did the Green Home special in, in Serenby, and I was there for a year, it was awesome. You know, I'm from Atlanta, and we just have so many beautiful places here, but you know, it's really cold here right now. Charlene, don't complain about cold here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're right, Monica, it's a lot colder there, so on that note, I'm going to switch gears and talk to you more about the water issue. You're a designer, you're a home expert, so you clearly know a lot about homes. So tell us, how does water create issues around the house? Well, water can create some major issues, and, and it's something that we don't often think about. You know, we're all worried about how our bathroom looks or our kitchen looks, but we're not always thinking about what the water in our home can do to these spaces. So, you know, I, I'm really talking about, you know, hard water versus soft water. And, and here's an example. So here's some glassware, and you may or may not have this at home. I do. With hard water, you're often stuck with some spots on your dishes. Um, also, you're your bathroom fixtures. You may you know, notice you've got sort of a buildup in the faucet or around your shower head and you're constantly having to use like really strong cleaners to clean it up. Even our laundry, sometimes we're like, gosh, you know, our laundry, it just my towels aren't that soft. Um, and also our bathing experience. It's really dry here and you guys are cold in Atlanta right now. Your skin's extra dry and you get out of the shower and it's like, okay, this is not pleasant. And usually that's because of hard water. And 85% of us have hard water and many of us do not know it <laughs> and um, that that is really what I'm talking about I'm actually working with Morton Salt and I'm trying to educate people on the benefits of having soft water and also teaching them how to determine whether or not they have hard or soft water Wow Monica 85% this is really a problem huh well, it's probably 85%, so it's a high number. Um, and here's what you want to do. This is what you want to do. You want to go home, you want to go to mortonsalt.com, you want to get a free test strip, they'll send it right to you, and you want to do the test. Here is a test strip. I've done this myself, it takes 15 seconds, you run it underwater, and you will know 
right away whether or not you have hard or soft water. If you've got hard water, you wanna start doing your research, you wanna look at getting a water softener, you're gonna have a plumber install it, and then you're gonna buy some great salt. And you're gonna thank me <laughs> when your life changes in your home. And you know, Charlene, in addition you know, to the things that I'm talking about, like your bathing experience or your bathroom fixtures or your dishes, you have to think about the plumbing in your home too. I mean, hard water is tough on plumbing and it's tough on your appliances. So you've probably spent money on your dishwasher, your refrigerator, and you're going, God, this looks great, but you're not really thinking. You want those appliances and your plumbing to last a long time and having hard water cuts the lifetime expectancy of those appliances way down. So you're making this great investment um, you know, in your appliances and fixtures, but you also need to make the investment in getting yourself soft water. Oh, okay. I just recently had a major renovation done in my home, you know, top the roof to the floor basically, and the plumbing as well, of course. No contractor, no plumber, no one mentioned that we could possibly have an issue with the water itself. So how can I know more about this? How can I know if my water is hard? What can I do about this? Educate us. What do we do? I'm in panic mode, Monica. I just put in new plumbing. What do I do? Well, the only way to really prevent it is, you know, is to find out whether or not you have hard or soft water, and it's a simple test. And then if you do have hard water, you want to get a water softener. And, you know, and people don't talk about it. I mean, I talk about renovations all the time, and I'm telling people, hey, get this faucet, get this fixture. You know, you want to spend a little more money on your bathroom fixtures because you want them to last. But at the end of the day, if you've got hard water, it's just an uphill battle. Um, I went through the same thing. You know, my father, I got into my business. My father was a handyman. He was this great rehabber. He was constantly over at my house. I was having him fix things all the time. I guess I'm lucky that my dad can do some plumbing. <laughs> and he's like, kid, you have to get a water softener, you know? And I'm like, no, my water's fine. He's like, it's not fine. <laughs> so, um, you know, you, it, it's when you're looking at cost of it, you're going to, you know, spend between two and 500 on a water softener, depending on what size you get. And then to install it, it could be between two and 500. And for an average family of four, you're looking at less than $50 a year in salt. So overall, it's a pretty smart and minimal investment when you're looking at extending the life of your plumbing and extending the life of your appliances. I mean, you just had plumbing done. You know how expensive it is. It's big time expensive. So you want to do everything you can to prevent you know, those plumbers having to come back and clean some pipes. So super smart. I'm doing it. I want you to do it too. Okay, Monica, you're sharing some really good information today. Thank you so much. So you're saying basically that we cannot prevent this, but we can take measures to stop it. Yeah, yeah, installing a water softener is the way to do it. Very, very simple. Got it? Yep, I got it. <laughs> Are you gonna go to mortonsalt.com and get your test strip, Charlene? Yes, I am, but give me the website again. Yeah, you just go to mortonsalt.com. There's a ton of information. You can get your test strip and then and go forward from there. It's very, very simple. Okay, great. Thank you, Monica. It's been great talking to you today. Nice talking to you too, Charlene. Thank you. Absolutely. And all the best to you, Monica, with your current line of home decor and furnishings. I'm busy over here, you know, but we got to get the water situation figured out or it doesn't matter what we put in our homes. <laughs> yes, Monica, that's true. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our show today. For more information, please visit our website at itsjustustalkshow.com. You may email us at itsjustustalkshow at gmail.com. We're on social media, Facebook, Twitter. Please join us. I'm so glad you're here. Hope to see you next time. Until then, take good care. <laughs>